Hey, Damian Baden, your local real estate agent in Northeast Ohio. Wanted to talk about being an RWA status before you actually go out and purchase a home and the benefits that it's gonna provide you as a buyer. First and most importantly, being RWA status, which if you're wondering what that means, um, I'll discuss that in a little bit. But RWA status helps you understand what you can actually afford from a payment. And making sure that you're comfortable with that monthly payment is gonna be a big benefactor before you start looking at homes because I've actually had some close friends of mine that never bought a home before and started looking way above their price range. And I looked at my wife and I'm like, why would they be teasing themselves with something they can't afford? I'll ask you, when have you not looked at something way outside your price range, if it's a luxury car, a luxury home, a luxury watch, that you didn't like? Everyone's gonna like something they can't afford. The problem with that is when you start looking at something outside your price range because you haven't done your own due diligence on making sure you're comfortable with the payment, your understanding of the loan program, now all of a sudden when you actually get to see what you can afford, you're gonna be very depressed and likely it's gonna be much smaller or the features aren't gonna be as nice, maybe the neighborhood's not gonna be as nice and it's gonna be a huge disappointment. Nobody wants that. Secondly, when it comes to understanding the different opportunities that you have, me as an agent, I'm not gonna waste my time with somebody that's not in an RWA status. Because if you're not an RWA status, therefore you haven't invested the time to actually go out and get a pre-approval and understand what you can actually afford to purchase. So why am I gonna reach out to a seller and ask them, hey, can we spend an hour in your home and I'm gonna either pick this buyer up or I'm gonna meet this buyer out there. So now my time invested is about an hour and a half, maybe at most, maybe two hours, depending on how far I had to drive, for somebody that can't even buy the home. Even if they like it, they love it, they wanna put an offer in, there's no reason a seller would be stupid enough to go out and actually take their home off the market for hoping that this person's not you know, way out of their price range, that they can afford it, and that they're gonna get their loan program and all their stuff done. They should have done this up front. and shame on any agent that's actually showing houses to somebody without a pre-approval. And I actually just witnessed this with one of my own personal properties where I wouldn't show the buyer and the agent that actually ended up selling the house to that person, you know, and I was the, the listing side of that, I was happy not to deal with that buyer. Unfortunately, she had to go through a couple different hoops because I wouldn't accept an offer from them even though they wanted to send one because he didn't have his pre-approval done. The other thing that you gotta understand, depending on the type of pre-approval you have, here's the big thing. You might become a more attractive buyer to a seller depending on the type of loan program you're approved for or if you have cash verification, you don't even need a loan program. So even if you don't have the best offer submitted in terms of price, maybe the financing side's more attractive to that seller. So having that upfront and understanding is gonna be a huge thing. The other thing is understanding principal interest taxes and insurance. If you have better um, tax rates, depending on the cities you're looking at, some you know one city might be 3% of the purchase price where another city that you're happy with is 2%. Well, your house payment's gonna be a lot more affordable, so you might be able to get a bigger home for the same monthly payment because of the tax rate. And the other thing is when you're, and I'll give you a little secret now, ready, willing, and able RWA buyer, an agent's gonna spend more time with you on different opportunities. And depending on how good of a buyer you are, they might actually invest into looking at off-market opportunities and finding those for you. Nobody's gonna waste time and money spending their own dime generating different off-market leads for a buyer that isn't RWA. So it's a huge benefit for you to be prepared. It's a huge benefit for you to be ready to go because when you do find that house, you're not waiting a day or two to try to get your paperwork around you're ready to go, you can put the offer in literally while you're walking out that door. I've even been able to write offers before we even leave the house because we knew exactly what we wanted, we knew exactly what we could do, and they knew they could afford it without any question in their mind and they had the paperwork to prove it. Hopefully you find this helpful. If you do, feel free to like it. Let me know that this is something you do find value in. If you have questions or comments about what I've said, feel free to comment below. 
And definitely, because I'm gonna be putting out more good content like this, feel free to follow me and then turn on notifications so you're aware when I'm actually posting a new video. Thank you so much and uh, stick around.